If somewhere around there are kids of yours, please hide them from this video because what I'm going to show you here is very much uh, dirty DIY uh, solutions here. There is nothing harmful for your kids, but what I have done here is that I used quite a lot of things which I found inside my house just to make sure that I am going to do something with those bearings and it's definitely not perfect but as long as it did the job and I didn't screw anything up I believe that it was still okay so basically uh, what I realized is that this threaded rod is not going to go through uh, the ball head which I had so that means I'm going to find something else to put that bearing in and what I figured out is that the piece which comes at the bottle axle through could be helpful for that because its um, diameter is exactly the same and it fits inside uh, the bearing hole so that's how I approached it and you can see that here I already did it a bit smarter way uh, by applying the bearing before putting it on top of the whole setup shall we say but uh, yeah i used some washers here and there as well as uh, used washer from the basically uh, rubber washer which comes or plastic one which comes probably from a chainstay uh, linkage so because it's already used quite a lot and i'm going to replace it i just use it in order not to uh, scratch the surface even more so you can see that it's not a very beautiful solution but again as long as it did the job, I'm fine with that because technically it would be ideal to have all those um, press uh, tools, etc. But because I don't have them at the moment and it's the first time I'm doing that, it was what it was. Because I have white paint, um, I'm going to at some point cover those uh, scratch frame pieces. What I'm doing when I'm adding uh, bearings is applying some grease inside the frame. Some say it's not necessary, some add the grease on top of the bearing before adding it inside. Well, I'm not exactly sure what's the best way to do it, but just to make sure that the bearing slides a bit easier because I'm not using proprietary tools for this procedure, I'm just adding that grease inside and I'm not going to think that it will do something bad with it. So here you can have seen that initially I thought that maybe I will press it with the bottom bracket tool, but then I realized that its diameter is too small and that way I'm going to put too much pressure on the bearing itself so for that reason I decided to use 27 millimeters um, head and actually to point out here is that this uh, main linkage the top one which connects to the frame has quite enough room to add the bearing inside it and quite uh, deeply I would say so that's a good thing to make sure that the bearing sits straight before you start doing that process. Then pressing this down you should be aware that it goes as straight as possible definitely uh, you don't want to mess things out if you are seeing that it's going uh, not straight as it should be just remove it out and start the same process again just because you don't want to mess out with your frame. I wonder if it's better for you to see the whole process without any of those cuts or those cuts are fine. So if you have opinion about that, please drop a comment and let me know because personally I hate when videos are 30 minutes long and they just become tedious to watch. For that reason I'm doing those quick cuts to essential parts of the video, but yeah, let me know what makes sense.
it was a tough process and you could have seen that there was some sweat on my, my forehead. I was stressing a bit how to make it work just because there is a different thing than you are recording everything and uh, then you are just doing it basically without much of the thinking. So here I just used 17 millimeters uh, head in order to press down uh, the bearing. Be aware that yours head might be different in terms of the outer size etc. So always make sure to uh, choose the size if you are not using proprietary tools that fits right inside the hole. So be aware of that and not use anything which is smaller or which is bigger. You can see here I already did once um, bearings repla replacement then I removed the swing arm completely and this one is just an example that it's possible to do it without removing all those brake hose and uh, shifting cable. I applied some grease on the inner tube. I'm not sure whether it's required or not. That was just a trial and error thing on my end. The reason why I did it is because in the past it was causing quite a lot of noise and I was not exactly sure how to do it. Actually, one disclaimer here is that it suggested to start uh, putting those bearings from the drive side. I'm not sure what is the difference and uh, what difference it makes, but yeah, be aware of that. And actually for this uh, tool which I made for pressing this bearing down is that I applied additional spacers on the non-pressing side in order to just offset the distance in order not to uh, scratch the swing arm because it's not straight down but it goes angular way. So I press down the bearings to the point where the inner tube doesn't move. I'm not sure whether it's a good way to do it. In the past I noticed that whenever I unscrew this bottom axle and if there is a play inside that tube, that means there will be some sound during the suspension movement. So in order to prevent that, I just press down the bearings a bit more and maybe it's not a good approach, but at least I am certainly sure that there will be no additional sound from the suspension. And if you want to hear that sound, here is some of the example how it goes. Everything's clean, bearings in. One remaining thing left is to put everything down. So we will do that in the next video.